Now I want to do a part two on the uh, setup of the external views on X-Plane 11 and I wanted to uh, kind of reverse things now and run the uh, three monitor visual the top is the master and in, initially I'm going to have it set up so that the panel the lower computer monitor which is driven by the second computer as you can see uh, it is uh, shown as a machine whose view is independent of ours okay so I'm going to set that up and show you how that looks now you can see that I have both uh, the master computer in this case which is the three monitors on the top set up in the 3d cockpit view and I also have a view of the cockpit as an independent unlocked view on the bottom monitor which is tied to the second computer I told you about the GPS problem I wanted to explain what I mean one more time just to make it clear the master if I change something on the master for example let me say I hit the uh, menu button you can see it comes up on the upper screen but it doesn't on the bottom there's no connection for update of the GPS I'm gonna hit clear and you can see as I hit we're in flight plan if I turn off flight plan if I zoom whatever I do the only thing that really works is the frequency swapping you can see if I change the frequency uh, with the swap button up here it is also reflected in the uh, frequencies on the slave computer or the external view. So we have an external view that is independent of the view outside. Now I'll show you what that means. What that means is that if I take the mouse and adjust the view on the outside, you can see that. See how the view on the computer inside the cockpit or the external view is not being moved. Only the outside view is being moved. Now obviously we normally run this external view probably without any uh, uh, scenery uh, or we may, but in any case they're independent. Now I'm going to stop this and adjust that and set that so that the, the uh, view is uh, locked and we'll see how that works. So now I'm going to eliminate or X out the uh, view that we had and then I'm going to say add a visual whose view is locked and you can see its panel okay so now when I go back to I click done now I have a second view down here on the bottom now if I manipulate the view on the top you can see the view on the bottom is moving too they're moving simultaneously I don't know if that's clear from this perspective but as you can see that if I look look around the cockpit the view on the bottom one is being manipulated and moved also now this bottom view I can move it and change its configuration and line it up with something on the other view but it keeps wanting to lock back to the view that uh, that is uh, the master view so that's a little advanced uh, view of this uh, networking to the two computers together you can see that uh, the reason I like to have the master <clears throat> as the cockpit computer or the uh, one with the GPS is because the GPS is active and can be used uh, and also popped out <clears throat> but if I use it on the uh, slave computer or the external visual as it's now called uh, it's not updated so that's a, or an advantage of having that master down here. Okay, thank you. That's about it. I just wanted to make that one point and show you for sure what it means to be locked. So now we think just in summary, the master computer is the computer that gets inputs from the controls. It's the master that controls the views of itself and any locked computers. The external view is it can either be independent if that's the way it's selected on the master computer or locked to the movement of the master computer I hope that's clear really not very complicated and x-plane 11 has gone a long way towards making this very easy to use